What's up y'all, welcome to the vlog. I'm here with my mom and it's about to be the most chaotic 24 hours of my life. We just landed in Utah, it's almost midnight and then we're going back and I have five hours. Well, we're leaving from the house at 5.30 a.m. and then I'm hopping on a flight to LAX and then going to Qatar and then going to Kathmandu. And I haven't really packed for this month long Everest base camp trek. I think I have everything. I was supposed to go through everything before I left, but oh, people are leaving. See ya. But we're saying bye to all the cousins right now and then we're gonna hit the road. So we're everyone pray for me. Very worried about him. Yeah, I haven't slept at all. Oh boy, oh boy. You scared? Love you. Okay, we just loaded up the truck and now we're headed back home. I don't know why the car alarm's going off. We're back at the house. It's 1.30 a.m. and I gotta get everything packed. I have less than... Oh, I just zoned out. Less than four hours. So I'm gonna set up a little time lapse and really lock in and we're gonna get this all packed. Okay, it's 2.45. Um, we just tried to pack everything. It's not fitting. This backpack's entirely full. This still needs to go in. Shoes need to go in. And then all of my camera stuff still needs to go in. I guess we're going to unpack and try again. I don't, I don't know what else to do. There's not like there's things that I can really take out. So we'll just try and figure it out. It's 3.24 and by some miracle, <laughs> I'm a lot more chipper than the last time we talked. By some miracle, we have made it so everything fits. In fact, this bag is two pounds under. <laughs> oh, what a comfy little backpack. Oh, I feel like I'm going to school. Here's my carry-on. It's stuffed to the brim, but believe it or not, 31 pounds. So everything's good. I'm wearing these boots to the airport, and then the second I sit in my airport chair, I'm gonna switch into my North Face slippers. Little things that are a little bit bad. I can't bring my big camera. Very upset, very upset. I'm gonna bring my GoPro for everything. Such a risk. Also, you're supposed to bring two fleece jackets and then I think you're supposed to bring toilet paper but no one's responding to the dang group chat. Probably because it's 3.30 a.m. It's 4.21 a.m. I'm currently having a meltdown since I'm trying to edit a video for y'all. It's not like downloading fast enough so I'm gonna hop in the shower and hopefully when I'm out it'll be done but they're here in an hour from now and I wanna get that video out so bad. I wanna get it out or else I have to wait like 20 days I can't do that. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Okay, I'm gonna shower. Guys, I'm actually losing my mind. I'm kind of hallucinating too. Okay, I got my suitcase, I got my backpack on. Um, I didn't sleep at all. I did get a shower in and I got my skincare routine going. And so I kind of look like, don't, make sure you have your cute matching watch. <gasps> Oh my gosh, my friends just texted me to wear my matching watch, but I definitely packed it somewhere. Like I do have the matching watch, I did. It's somewhere. Got my backpack, got my suitcase. They are pulling up right now and I didn't sleep a wink. I look like I did though. Don't I look like well rested? I'm feeling kind of weird. I'm feeling kind of woozy. I hope I'm not sick. <gasps> I forgot to bring a mask. I didn't tie my boots up because I'm lazy, but honestly, they feel pretty comfy for my third time ever wearing them. They said they would be here. They're not here. Apparently everyone switched on me and everyone got checked bags. Oh, it must be nice having those huge suitcases. I packed light and measured till the gram. Yeah, well, I may have to like sneak something in your things on the way back. Switching cars and then headed to the airport. Okay, guess which one's my suitcase. Oh, feels like a second home. We just barely got our bags. We're gonna check them. So mad everyone else got a huge bag besides me. And we're hopping on the plane. Come in. I didn't get it, you're fine. Oh, we got off our Salt Lake City to LAX plane. Yeah, we're feeling great. I was dozing off the whole time and everyone was you. bullying me. Caught me doing what? <laughs> was I, was my whole mouth open? <laughs> it's like show stuff in there. But we're waiting for an Uber and then we're right Ubering to Camry's friend's house. Since we got a seven hour layover and then we're hopping on the dang plane, I talked to the pilot and I got this trading card and I thought this was a scam. I saw on TikTok like Delta planes, you can ask him for a trading card. I marched up straight to that pilot and I got one and it's the best thing I've ever got. I'm gonna talk to every pilot ever. 
and I'm gonna collect them all. Look how sick that is. This isn't actually the plane I'm on. Usually they give the plane you're on. This isn't the plane I was on. But yeah, we're probably gonna get some food. We're just waiting for our dang Uber. This is so random. I just checked in my luggage and now I'm going through security all by myself because I guess everyone freaking else has TSA pre-check except me. But these boarding passes are like cardstock. Like they feel so high quality. And I'm so excited to get my first stamp on my passport. I'm so excited. Okay, we're about to board our KTAR flight. It's 16 hours, right? 16 hours. It's gonna be miserable. Charlie's gonna snore. I'm just kidding. She's gonna bully me if I sleep with my mouth open. Okay, we're boarding. Oh. Oh. Okay, haul. Um, by the way, this plane was the most stressful experience of my life. Why do they put freaking everything they give you on the ding chair and then you bring your bag and then you have to sit on the stuff and then you're pulling stuff out and everything in my bag started popping out every which way. Okay, so what we got here is a blanket. Oh, fleece, which this was actually on our packing list. And then we got this pillow. I probably won't be using it since I got tricked into having the dang aisle. Um, then we got this. This is a toiletry for washing your face. Heck, I stopped washing my face once I started taking Accutane. Oh, what else is in here? Headphones. Hey guys. That is a mess right okay. now. <laughs> okay. Okay, Menu. this is only our lunch and dinner. I think this is what it is. Appetizer, cauliflower rice salad with beetroot Ooh. hummus. Mains, you have your pick. Curry mustard chicken with grilled bok choy. Barbecue beef with sweet potato mash or whatever that is. Kiday paneer. So that's dinner. We'll be having that for supper. I don't know what the breakfast is. I can look. It depends on the flight. Sometimes they do it like destination themed she said is there a chef in the back or are they warming it up with Maybe a microwave first class. <laughs> yeah we saw the first class people and them. they got a freaking bed and we're the back of the plane the, the menu is loading okay lunch dinner okay oh, wait, oh. <gasps> movie treats smoked, smoked barbecue, barbecue chicken. chicken for brunch Spanish so kind nights. of a good spread but we're having fun we are about to take off in probably an hour. I don't know. I Apparently these seats have bigger room. I don't feel it. In fact, I've never been so upset from the second I sat down that I just want to be off this plane already and it doesn't even take it off. We'll probably check in when we get our first meal or our first snack. We just got our dinner. Um, I got the chicken curry. I think this is rice. This is dessert. This is a little roll. We got some water. And then this is the chicken curry. It's literally a microwave meal though. Okay, first bite, curry. Cheers. Cheers. That's good. really good. That's good. It tastes fresh. Okay, it's kind of gross, but it's kind of a little bit redeeming. Zero out of 10. And you know what, I'm going to put it's the like curry. A th the curry's good. Curry's so good. Dinner roll was zero out of 10. Oh, out of ten. just lost a chunk. Three, two, one, cheers. Was it bad? Yeah, we're gonna eat. I'm like getting delusional. I still haven't really slept that good. That was the freaking worst, longest flight of my life. We just landed in Qatar, Qatar Airport. Qatar, I think that's how you say it, Qatar. Everyone's getting mad at me. It's not Qatar, it's Qatar. And apparently this is like ranked for being the third most beautiful airport in the whole freaking world. So we're going to explore for a little bit. I think we're meeting up with Brooklyn and Dakota here and we'll probably find some food, but that like, that flight wrecked me. Like, I'm not feeling good. And there were so many, like, sick people on the flight. There was a baby that kept screaming. There was, like, people sounded like they were coughing up their lungs.
Okay, we just got dinner. We got Gordon Ramsay pizza. These fries are really good. It's like buffalo. We're all dining up. We're all kind of sleep deprived. There's a good view of us if you want to know. We've been trying to sleep on this little like concrete. I think we're just getting yelled at for sleeping. Okay, the worker just came over and told Charlie that there's a quiet room. So we are going to go like try and find it and hopefully it will be a little bit more comfier than the freaking concrete. Why would I want to sit on that airport chair? That quiet room was such a vibe. Like there were a couple kind of scary snores that like jump scared me when people would snore. But after a bit, like I just loved it. Just a bunch of guys snoozing. One of my favorite parts about this airport though, besides it being freaking beautiful, is the bathrooms. There's like a worker that like cleans up each stall individually, like right after you use it. Like you hop out, out of the bathroom and like this guy just runs in there right after you with a mop and cleans it for the next person. Like they're the most clean bathrooms and they got like the, the bidet. Um, I'm using Charlie's arm as in, I cannot even tripod. think y'all, as a tripod. And I got these avocado, avocado, <laughs> avocado, avocado, avocado. Oh my gosh, we can't tell if it's real avocado. Stop shaking your arm, Charlie. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's a real avocado for sure. I think, I think they just scooped it up. I think it's sugar. You really think? Okay, yes. we'll take a bite out of it. That's not chocolate. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> avocado flavored gelato. <laughs> Trying out the fake seed, seed of the avocado. <laughs> Peanut butter. No, I've had avocado ice cream before and it may not taste the best, but it makes you skinny. I'm scared because it actually looks like avocado consistency too. Well, yeah, it's avocado. Not you actually eating the avocado. <laughs> the skin what do you think? No, it literally tastes like avocado. Yeah. It tastes like frozen avocado. It's like not the worst, but it's avocado. For taste, I would say it's six, <laughs> four. I mean, it's just like avocado. Oh. But it's cool. We're at um, Fairfield Marriott in Nepal, of course, Kathmandu. Shoot, I almost freaking broke that. I like, I don't know. I've been to like some places out of the country. Okay, basically I've only ever been to the Bahamas and Mexico, but it was on a cruise. Y'all, like culture shock to the max. I had no idea what was going on. We loaded our stuff in the suitcase and this guy like helped me. This guy came up to me and like helped me load my suitcase into my car. Turns out the guy wasn't part of the group. Um, I load in the car. He's like, sit over here. And I'm like, that's the guy that's in charge. Like I know this guy. So I listened to him and sit down there. And then the guy came around that helped me with my bag and starts grabbing my leg and says, tip tip us dollar and i just like i start sweating so i start looking like to charlie and camry like hoping they'll say oh like we don't have any money since i was gonna pull the card like i don't have any money they don't have any money either he's like grabbing my leg like kind of hard and like tip 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 and then i pull out my wallet and i give him five dollars which was so generous like all i did was like pick up my bag and like put it in the back of the car and i was literally trying to do that and then he ripped the freaking bag out of my hand and put it in the car. And so I gave him $5 and then he says, I saw a 20 in there and like grabs my leg a little tighter. Full body chills, I start sweating. He did see a 20 in there. I go, oh, and then I gave him a $10 and said, that's it. And then he like left, but we just checked into the hotel. So this is the room, little room tour, TV, big old bed. Let's see the view, honestly. <gasps> Enjoy this complimentary bottle of water. Yes! Let's look, let's look at the view. Live reaction, the view. Did I just break it? Oh, no, never mind, this is a good view. 
What a view. This is so fun. Ooh, it's beautiful. Honestly, like it feels like I've entered a different world. Like all the architecture is different. People are driving on the different side of the road. There were all these little puppies that were just like licking like dirt off the ground. And I like that part made me so upset. But let's show you all the bathroom. I, I haven't used it yet. So here it is. I found out these are little bidets. They were in the, they were in the Cutter Airport. These bidet things, I got a full body mirror. Very nice mirror. Ooh, it's like a lighted vanity. And then here's my shower. They gave me like a complimentary like coupon card. I like almost squealed. I was so pleased, let me find it. So they got me a free drink voucher for two beers or two soft drinks and then two piece laundry. And I don't know what two piece laundry is. I'm not sure if that means two loads or like two articles articles of clothes shoot i need to shave if it's two or like two articles of clothes oh my gosh i'm gonna wash my socks so quick so i'm probably gonna shower i'm probably gonna chill uh charlie and camry are like showering and getting ready too and then i think we're exploring the city also peep this oh no it cut on my backpack and is ruining it they put this on me like when i hopped in the plane and it just says Himalayan social journey. And this is who we booked through. He, I guess, emailed and said, don't tip anyone. And I just was unaware of that information. He's like, don't tip anyone. I'm the only member of the group. So, okay, I'm, I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna probably guzzle this whole bottle of complimentary water. Okay, I just showered, um, fixed my hair, put on a new outfit, new socks, new underwear. And now I think we're hidden the town we're exploring. Everyone's waiting for me. I feel a little bit guilty, but also I don't. I've been through a lot. Heading out. Okay, we just stopped at the ATM store before heading out. Look at the money. Th this one has booger on it or something. It has, I think it has Mount Everest on every single one. Look at the back though. Obsessed. Isn't that fun? It's like a little tiger. Okay, we just bargained in the market for these trekking poles. And we got them for $12. gas station and we got a bunch of snacks and then we got a big old bottle of water and now we are probably eating at this place it's like so pretty it's so peaceful also they were playing the weekend featuring lily rose depp at the gas station down the road i was singing along i was so excited i think we're getting dal bot which is like the main food everyone eats because it just has a really good source of energy i'll update y'all when we get the food I just had the most like stressful, probably 20 minutes of my life. Let me set my phone down. Oh, I, oh. Okay. I like sat on this huge water bottle and then also the chair moved from out from under me. So we went to that place to eat and it was so delicious. It was like, guess how much? I got the rice and then I got that huge pot of dumplings. All for me, they were vegetable dumplings all together. $11, oh my gosh, it was so cheap. So I show up to my hotel room door and I just got, like, I have to pee so bad. I drank so much water at dinner, like really, really bad. Like emergency level, emergency. Like I wasn't making a scene when I was with everyone, but like secretly inside I was like, I gotta pee. And so I'm just lying low. And then I pull up to my door and then Cameron and Charlie go to their room. And then I'm at my door and I'm looking for my key. Cannot find it. I start thinking back, holy cow, I could have left it in the streets. I could have left it at the restaurant. Where did I freaking leave this card? So I just start thinking, I'm like, they maybe have a spare. So I click the elevator button. It won't go down. You need the dang key to go down in the elevator. So I start like frantically, like I'm doing like the pace, like, you know, when you have to go pee where you're like, like I'm pacing like that. I find like these stairs and I open it up and it's outdoor stairs. So I go down the outdoor stairs and then I had to go through this like chained off like fence door, like security door that probably set off an alarm. And I go through and there's a bunch of workers on their smoke break or they could not have even been workers. They were just like in like behind the hotel in this like kind of dark area. It was just kind of spooky and everyone was smoking. And I like came down the stairs and they all went, 
Like they were shocked to see someone else back there. So I'm just like pacing really, really quick. And I found how to go around the building. I had to go through this little dark alley. And then I went to like the front desk and I said, hey, like I left my key in my room, even though I thought I like left it somewhere. And I found it on the freaking table next to all my stacks of money. I was like really thinking in my head, I'm like, do I pee in the corner of the hotel? Do I pee? I was just looking for things to pee on. I peed in the toilet. Okay, so like everyone's just kind of doing their own thing. I don't know what I should do. Like my room's a disaster, but that's because like I have zero space. I have to pack it a certain way. So I figure like everything out probably more useful than everything packed together, especially when we're here for three more nights. So I'm just probably gonna keep it like that. Maybe I'll edit, maybe I'll sing a little song, do a little jig, but I'm hoping this time goes by fast. The trek starts like two days from now and I'm ready to hike. Okay y'all, it's 8.30 PM. We were going to meet up with everyone at like six, but then all of a sudden like out of the blue on the group chat, they're like, see you tomorrow. So I think everyone just got a little sleepy and I am so sleepy. I really haven't slept. I think I've slept six hours in the past like five days. I've just been traveling nonstop. Like my eyes are so bloodshot. I just used the rest of this water that I got from the gas station and I put some um, electrolyte mix in it. I am feeling like a little bit dehydrated. So I did that. I ate like a little granola bar. I got yelled at by everyone when we went to dinner because you can't use the sink water to brush your teeth. So I had to get um, one of the complimentary bottles of water that the hotel gave me and I had to use that to brush my teeth. And hopefully I didn't get like a parasite or something from not using that the first time. But I'm gonna go to bed. Overall, today was a pretty good day. It's been such a vibe. The people here are so nice besides that one person that freaking like gripped my thigh got me into giving him $15 for just like lifting my suitcase. Like that, that guy I kind of have beef with. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm not sure what's going on. A lot more like people in our group are landing tomorrow. I think everyone actually, we were the first group we went today early, but I think everyone in our group will be here tomorrow. So we'll see what that brings. Hopefully I don't wake up tomorrow sick, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's up y'all? Good morning. It's day two. Of Camp Mandu. I got on a beanie. I put on my tea house slippers and we are heading down for breakfast. I slept like pretty good. I woke up for like probably 20 minutes at 4 a.m. But I think I'm adjusted. I think I'm on this time zone. So let's go get some breakfast. Charlie and Camry freaking knocked on my door at like 6.30, like over and over again, like super loud. And I thought it was the workers and it scared me, put me in a bad mood. <laughs> Just came back from shopping and I got so many good stuff, but I can't give y'all a haul. I'm headed out the door like right now. We're going to our welcome dinner with our trekking group. Um, we don't know what kind of food it's gonna be. I'm so excited. I have to go to the bathroom quick and then we're hopping in the van. They're picking us up. Okay, we just got back from the meeting with our trekking company. Here's our little itinerary. And then we also got a really cool shirt. It's like a jersey material with um, Himalayan Social Journey, which is the group we're going with. And then they gave us a little hat, but I gotta show y'all what I got from the store down here at Kathmandu. We went to a bunch of different little shops all throughout the city and I got some really good stuff. Okay. First thing I got are these little magnets. I collect magnets like everywhere I travel. I started collecting probably like a couple years ago. I got two since they were so cool. I couldn't just pick one, but I got this one that shows like all the big summits. There's Everest right there. There's like some trekkers. And then right here is another Mount Everest one and it has like yaks and stuff. I just love the way this one looks. This one looks more like summery. 
And then this one looks like more wintry, so I had to get both. Okay, and then we also got trekking poles and Dakota in our group haggled these down. So it was only like $12 for two trekking poles. I got this really cool orange and it's like a plastic grip with like a little compass on there. Everyone says to get these and it just helps overall. Like when you're hiking, if it's like straight up, it really helps. So we got those two. I also got a shirt and we were just walking in a shop and we kept walking like deeper and deeper into the shop. And I saw this and my jaw just dropped. Like the colorway, like everything about it, I just loved it. And I don't know, I was with a group so I didn't really want to make them stop. But, but I kept like saying, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. And they're like, try it on, just try it on. And so I tried it on and then we walked away and then we came back. It was just so sick, so let's show y'all it. I got a medium, but like the sleeves fit me. It's so cool. Look how cool. Just something about the colorway. It's so sick and it has like wood buttons and then it has like a little hood. I'll put it on right now for y'all. Oh boy. Like, look how sick that looks. And like the little hoodie. I just love it. Something about, I don't know, it's this dark red. It's almost like a cream. Has a little pocket right there. It's so warm, it's so cozy. I may actually trek with this, I don't know. Here's what the back looks like. Yeah, so now we gotta wait like 15 minutes and then we're going to the actual welcome dinner. I thought we were gonna do it before, but um, it was just like a brief, just going over the itinerary, just doing a Q&A. And then I'm also getting a porter duffel bag that I'm supposed to put my stuff in instead of having that suitcase. And so they're bringing that, I think like after we go to the restaurant, everyone else in my group got one already. They just ran out when they got to me. Make sure it's the right weight and then yeah, I'm excited to see what kind of dinner we're getting. I'm getting, like, I'm getting pretty hungry. I just got my huge duffel bag and I packed really, really light. So like everything, I'm not even worried about the dang weight. Everything will fit great in there. So yeah, it should be good. I don't know what I was expecting, but that's this. I still got the red dot from uh, dinner, but dinner was great. The food was amazing. The biggest problem is like, since I've gotten here, I really haven't had an appetite and they just kept bringing out more and more food. And I'm like, I don't really have an appetite. So quite a bit of like food I didn't eat, but I tried to try every single thing and it was really good. I found myself just mostly eating like the plain rice because I just didn't have an appetite for anything else. I'm like, oh, I can just, eat this plain rice. But it was really good, like everything I tried was really good. It was so fun to go on stage and dance with everyone. And our guide is literally the best. Like when we were walking to and from the dinner, like the smallest little things, like a crack in the road or like a speed bump, he's like, careful, don't trip. If he's that thorough, I'm not even worried about the hike to the base camp. Um, He seems very on top of it. I've heard from everyone like, Jeremy in our group that did a lot of research, he said that like he's the best like guide um, to Everest Base Camp. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go to sleep. I need a, maybe I'll take a shower and like wash this off. But tomorrow's a sightseeing tour. We're leaving here at 9.30 a.m. and then taking a sightseeing tour, seeing a bunch of different things. And then the day after that, so in two days, we start every space camp trek. I'm scared. Like when we were sitting down here in the brief and just hearing everything, I was like, please no, please no. But now I'm feeling better. I'm just a little stressed, but I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Hey y'all, it's day three in Nepal. This is actually a new shirt. I know I wore this um, shirt yesterday and since I only have like one color of these like super like breathable, like fast dry shirts, I got two of the same color. Looking back, like retrospectively, I should have got a different color so y'all don't think I'm wearing the same shirt. But actually when we're trekking, I will be wearing the same shirt. But yeah, I just woke up, took a little shower. I put on some lip balm. I did not sleep good at all. I woke up at like 4 a.m. and then I was up till 6 a.m. So I did not sleep very good. I'm a little bit worried. Tomorrow, we're waking up at 1 a.m to start our Everest Base Camp trek, we have to take a five hour car ride. Apparently it's a really bad car ride. Everyone gets super sick, everyone gets nauseous, and also it's scary. And then we 
like drive to the scariest airport in the world. It's literally the most dangerous airport in the world. It's ranked number one. So that's all happening tomorrow. So I'm hoping like maybe I'll get to sleep earlier today. I don't know. I think I'm screwed either way. So there's some people eating breakfast downstairs right now. So I'm about to join them. But today is a sightseeing day and we're going to be looking at, I believe some temples and some other really cool sites. I'm bringing y'all along, of course, and they come and pick us up 9.30. So it's like eight right now, so I'm gonna eat quick, brush my teeth, and then we're gonna go tour Kathmandu. Okay, before I go to breakfast, fit check. Got my tea house slippers, got this little side bag. Um, these are some beads that Paisley McKnight made for me. They are freaking sick. I love them. Little gummy bear, little star. I put it on my bag. I'm probably gonna be putting it on my trekking backpack too. Yeah, the only thing different about my fit is this orange beanie. Like, basically we're the same fit. Of course, new shirt, like I told y'all. Yeah, this beanie is the only addition. got a mushroom and onion omelet, and then vegetable fried rice, potatoes, and then bread with some mango jam that I couldn't really get out. And then I have like an energy shot and then orange juice. And then I have a like honey, lemon, garlic, like herbal tea is on its way. We just ate and I just filled out a little laundry form since I wanted to get like some of my clothes washed. So I just have like all new clothes for starting the trek. And hopefully they get it done. It says right here if they pick it up after 10 o'clock, they return it on the following day after noon. But if they pick it up before 10 o'clock, they return it on the same day. And it's nine o'clock something right now. So I'm hoping they'll get it all washed. Oh my gosh, it, imagine if they just like don't give it back the same day, I'm screwed. I literally will be screwed since we leave 1 a.m. tomorrow. I know this is coming from like the future. Like I ended this video and then I literally got it, but I got it, don't sweat, I got it. Okay, first stop is the monkey temple. Apparently there's a bunch of monkeys. They're telling us to hide our food since they'll steal it. This is our lunch stop on the tour and just look at the view. Final stop for the sightseeing tour, we're going to a Hindu temple that's also a crematorium. And I'm probably not gonna film, and I'm kinda scared. Okay, so that's the end of this part of my journey in Nepal. I'm gonna make another part that just is everything about Everest Base Camp, my whole journey doing the actual physical trek. So subscribe, comment down below what your favorite part is of like what I showed you guys. I honestly love Nepal, the people are so nice and when was actually laughing at me since I struggle so hard, like the money, oh my gosh, the 500 rubies and the thousand rubies look identical. And like so many people were laughing, they're like, haha. And someone said, He's new here, he's new here. And I said, yes, I am. I don't know what I'm doing with, with the money. But it's been such a fun trip. So comment down below, like favorite part about Nepal, where I should travel next. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time as I journey to Mount Everest Base Camp.